Okay, I think it's about time we did this. Let's talk about Aventus Cologne. Aventus from Creed is one of the most popular men's niche fragrances, if not the most popular of all time. When it was released in 2010, it was a bit of a game changer. It brought a fresh, new, exciting and interesting new DNA to the market. It was something that people weren't used to smelling. It had a bold masculinity, it had versatility, it would get compliments. So much loved fragrance and for good reason. I think it is a beautiful fragrance. I still really enjoy wearing this one. It's lost a little bit of its prestige in recent years as there's been speculation that recent formulations of this are not as good. They're weak and it's cloned left, right and centre, so we are smelling this DNA around a lot. When Creed announced they were releasing a flanker to this called Aventus Cologne, a lot of people questioned, were Creed just cashing in on the Aventus name? Do we need a flanker of Aventus? Cologne perhaps implies something fresher and lighter, so do we need a version of Aventus where versatility and performance is compromised? So I'm going to talk about all that in this video. The bottle of Aventus Cologne is very similar to the original Aventus. The label is grey rather than black. So let's take a closer look at the bottle and the notes. The notes in Aventus Cologne, according to Creed, are ginger, mandarin, pink peppercorn, patchouli, sandalwood, vetiver, styrax, birch, musk and tonka. I've been working from a decant of Aventus Cologne and I also have a sample so I've given this some good wearings over the last few weeks and what I will say straight away is it's a really nice scent, I enjoy it. Definitely related to the original Aventus, you do get glimmers of that Aventus DNA within this, particularly in the opening. What you don't get is that smoky birch that was so popular in Aventus. For me, that gave Aventus some structure, some backbone and some attitude. So you're not going to get that with Aventus clone. In the opening, you've got the ginger, the mandarin and the pink peppercorns and they balance really nicely. And that is the strongest part to me of this fragrance is the opening. The mandarin being the most prominent of those notes. The heart and the base of Aventus clone, unfortunately, just seems to offer flickers of the notes that comprise it. So there's a glimmer of earthy patchouli, a flash of dry vetiver, but nothing really stands out too much. The base notes, don't seem to rise up and really fix the scent into a pleasing dry down like the musks and the birch and the ambergris do with the original Aventus and also the the heart and the bass don't seem to lock in that beautiful opening so those top notes that are so magical in the opening of Aventus clone don't filter down through the life of the fragrance so they're quite fleeting uh, you'll maybe get maybe 30 minutes maybe 60 minutes of that nice opening and then things just seem to fizzle out unfortunately. It's almost as if they got the quantities of the heart and bass notes wrong because Aventus Cologne doesn't have a depth, doesn't have a density. I know that Cologne implies that it would be a lighter scent but it is still an eau de parfum. Creed described this fragrance as having a modern rebellious twist. I just don't buy that. To me, that's like saying that the modern rebellious teenager, instead of stomping up the stairs and slamming their bedroom door shut after an argument with their parents, will tiptoe up the stairs and quietly and carefully close the door just to rebel in a more modern way. So it's got a beautiful opening, but unfortunately it doesn't develop into a pleasing or a lasting dry down. Just to illustrate how Aventus Cologne works, I'm gonna drop another analogy for you. Imagine you've got a glass of fresh orange juice and you put some ice cubes in there, you take a sip and you've got a lovely refreshing burst of strong juicy orange. And then later on when you've almost finished the drink and the water from the ice has melted into the orange juice, you're just left with a watery liquid that just has a faint hint of that juicy orange that was present in the opening. To me, that's kind of how Aventus Cologne works. It opens really strong, it's really beautiful, and then it just quickly fades out to pretty much nothing. The scent, to me, faded to about 50% of its opening strength in the first 60 minutes, and then I got about two to three hours of a light skin scent after that. The projection is pretty soft, it's about half an arm's length. You're gonna get about 30 to 60 minutes, depending on your skin chemistry. So it's a pretty thin, weak scent. It may work better in the hot weather, but overall, for me, it was pretty poor performance. In terms of occasions, it's pretty versatile. I think you could wear this as a daytime signature scent or even a formal scent. You can dress it up, dress it down. 
In terms of when in the year to wear this, well it depends where you are, but uh, avoid it in cooler temperatures. Autumn, winter, I don't think it's a strong enough scent to perform, it's too thin and too light. If you're wearing it in a high heat of the summer, you are going to get better performance. The price in the UK is £155 for 50ml compared to £185 for 50ml of the original Aventus. Uh, 100ml is going to be £215 compared to original Aventus which is £265. So it is a little bit cheaper but for what it is it's still very expensive. Overall it's a very nice scent for about two to three hours but it's not really anything special. It's not bringing anything new to the market. It's certainly not a game changer like the original Aventus and in my opinion it doesn't really warrant the high price that Creed are charging for this. When Viking was released a couple of years ago, I remember it was criticised for not being a strong release. It was coming off the back of Aventus, which had been the previous release from Creed. But compared to this, in my opinion, Viking was a much, much stronger release. So that's my take on Aventus Cologne. I know there's been many reviews already put out there and I'm possibly just echoing what you've heard already. But a few people had asked me for my opinion and I wanted to share my opinion. So hopefully you found it useful and I offered you uh, something of value in this video. I'd love to know what you think about Aventus Cologne. Do you get good performance? I mean, you know, maybe you've got a skin chemistry that really works with this DNA. If so, I'd love to hear from you and so would other people. So please let us know in the comments down below. I hope you found the video useful, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and remember keep tuning into FM and keep smelling good.